Welcome back to my channel for another short Hasselblad episode. And in this episode, I will update my X2D for the newest firmware, which was released just some days before Christmas. And the reason why I'm showing this is because one of my subscribers sent me a mail and said he got stuck in doing so and uh, he asked for a little tutorial. So here we go, that's the tutorial. But of course I will also provide more interesting information than just updating the camera. Let's kick this off. So what's currently going on with my Hasselblad X2D? I've currently mounted here the 35 to 75 millimeter standard zoom, which is one of my most favorite lenses for the Hasselblad X camera system. And the reason why I mounted it, because when it gets closer to the blue hour, I will actually take the car and drive to a specific location in Switzerland doing some city lights and nightscape photography. Before doing that, I wanna make sure I have the newest firmware update on my camera here. And the first thing you should do is always checking the status quo on your firmware, on your Hasselblad X2D, but also on the X1D, X1D Mark II, the 907X, what have you. So let's go into the menu, then we come here to general, then we scroll down all the way to the second last item, which is service, and on service we can have a look. So my camera firmware is 1.0.0, the lens firmware is 0.6.0 and that's the newest one. I know that because I check this frequently. And on camera firmware, we have now an update from 1.0.0 to 1.0.5. So let's have a quick look what's new in that firmware update. Hasselblad is actually great and very diligent when it comes to firmware updates. And over the last years on Hasselblad X cameras, we saw a lot of improvements and new features coming to these cameras by firmware upgrades. On the flip side of the coin, Hasselblad is a small company, although they are now embedded in DJI. And that means things take some time. So most of us are still waiting, for instance, for the new XCD 90mm lens, uh, which was supposed to be shipped last year. Now we have 1st of January, it's a Sunday, and uh, still no indication when this lens will be shipped. Latest rumors talk about January, so let's wait, see, and cross fingers. And the same also applies to the software area. A lot of us are waiting for an update on Focus Mobile 2, and Focus Mobile 2 was last updated a year ago, so clearly has no support for the Hasselblad X2D 100C at this point in time. And that would be fantastic because I like actually tethered shooting with the camera via my iPad and not necessarily going to my MacBook Pro here, which I have in front of me on the table. So what's new in this new firmware, which is version 1.0.5 now, you saw before I come here on my X2D from 1.0.0 and uh, it was released on the 15th of December, as I said, just a few days before Christmas. The first item here we get under what's new is improved system stability, and some users actually complained about the camera not being 100% predictable in its behavior, and that seems to be fixed. They also fixed a rare issue where the built-in SSD, which is one terabyte, really great to have that in the camera, could not be read, and that's of course bad if you rely on your SSD inside and then you cannot read the images you stored there, that's why, by the way, I always have the backup function activated. My footage ends up on the card, in the card slot, as well as on the internal SSD. Then it fixed the rare issue where the connection to a Mac computer using a USB cable failed. I think that is something which is also quite important to be aware of because some people complained and said, I wanted to do firmware update via focus on the MacBook or on your Windows computer and it didn't work. And clearly if in some cases the USB connection is not stable, tethered shooting will not work, firmware updates via focus software will not work. Fix the rare issue where the camera display screen malfunctioned in some extreme conditions, okay. Fixed issue of reduced image quality when using the electronic shutter in some scenarios, yes. I'm still owing to the community my review of rolling shutter effects with the electronic shutter of the X2D. I hope I can deliver this in the next few weeks. Supported hot plugging for the HCD 428 lens. Well, people following me on my channel know that's a lens I know I have and I use, and that's important, of course. Fixed issue of abnormal exposure when using the HC 2.8 80mm lens with the XH converter 0.8. And that's also a lens I'm using and the converter I'm using because there is a bunch of videos on my channel where I reviewed them and did actually show how to shoot with them. So these fixes here, they are really meaningful for me and they will make my life easier going forward. That's why we install the firmware now. So the question is, what is the safest way to get your X2D100C upgraded 
to the new firmware. And uh, Hasselblad has an official FAQ in the web on their pages. And the only way, and that's important now, the only way they recommend to upgrade the camera is in the following way. Go to the download section here. On the download section, specify your product. That's the X2D 100C. You can then further narrow the search down by saying firmware. And then you find here firmware 1.0.5 download. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I download it. You saw the little animation on my MacBook Pro and the firmware will be stored on my MacBook. And then I have to place it on the Compact Flash Express Type-B card, which is typically resting in the card slot of my Hasselblad X2D. And from then on, I will show the next steps to get the upgrade done. After downloading the file to your MacBook Pro, you typically find this in the downloads folder. And the name is x2d-100c-v1-0-5.cim. That's the file we need to drag over now. Here is the folder for my Compact Flash Express Type-B card, which I use in my X2D. And it's very important that you drag and drop now this firmware file to the main path of the card. So don't put it in DCIM or in some other folder. Put it at the top notch of the path hierarchy of the card. Here we go, now it ended up on the cart. I can eject the cart now, place it back in my Hasselblad X2D 100C, and then we show the next steps how to get the firmware upgrade done, and also watch it live happening on the camera. The firmware file is now on my cart here, and we can insert the cart again into the camera. Make sure the camera is switched off. Don't have it switched on and make a hot swap here. Just place it in the cart slot, get it in, make sure it's firmly locked and close the slot here. What you also should make sure under all circumstances is that you have a fully loaded battery in the camera. Don't try to do this with a half full battery and assume that it will go well. If a firmware update breaks, your camera is typically bricked and that means you have to send it into service, which as I said before, Hasselblad is a small company. It might take weeks before the camera comes back to you. So make sure you have a fully loaded battery inside the camera before you start that upgrade process. Now there is a simple way to check the level of the battery without even switching on the camera. And the way you do this is you just get the battery out halfway. Let's do this here. Don't push it further so it will not drop off. And then you have a look at the top display and when I push back the battery into the slot and it gets contact and sits firmly, it will show me here the battery level. Have a look. 98%. I think that's good enough to do a firmware upgrade process, so we can start now with the next steps. All right, everything is prepared. The camera has an almost fully loaded battery. The firmware is on the Compact Flash Express Type-B card, so we can switch it on. And then we go into the service section, again, where we've been before. Let's quickly do that. So here we go. We go into General. Then we go all the way down to the second last entry here. We check Service and then we can say check for update. And now it says to me, it has found on the main path of the cart firmware version 1.0.5. And now I can choose update. And uh, then of course it warns you, you should never interrupt that process. That's why also it's important that your battery is fully loaded. Never do anything with the camera. Best way is put it on a table in front of you and just keep your hands off and let the camera do its thing because it is so easy if you accidentally push a button, something gets messed up. So push the update here if you're comfortable with the process, otherwise you can exit. I'm going to update this now. And now it starts and I will place the camera now here and we'll come back when the process is completed. The update process takes about five minutes, so not super long. And then it gives you a message here and confirms that the update is completed. So let's check box OK here and we are back in the camera. Now, if you wanna be on the safe side, and that's a procedure we used on older cameras, not only from Hasselblad, you can switch it off now, get the battery out, get the battery in, but that's not necessary here because this camera is more modern than what we had in the past from Hasselblad and from other camera brands. So let's go into the menu again. Let's go to general and let's verify that we have reached our goal here and that the camera is updated. And you see the body has now firmware version 1.0.5, so the process of updating the camera for these new features and improvements and bug fixes is complete. Now, one subscriber wrote an email to me and said, I tried to do this via Focus software and it didn't work. And I mentioned before the improvements we have on the new firmware of the camera now. So let's have a look into Focus in the newest version 3.7, which if I'm not mistaken, came out in November last year. Hasselblad also kindly enough provides a few important notes here and uh, they concern the new features in Focus 3.7. As I said, it's about two months old now. 
And uh, they say the release brings a major increase in processing speed. So they rely now on the graphical processing unit, which is great for my MacBook Pro, of course, but also for Windows computers where you have a very strong performing graphic card in it. And they also say here for the X1D Mark II and later cameras, you will get a larger area detail view in live shooting, focus point control and focus peaking support in live view. That's probably a topic of another video if people would be interested to see how I do tethered shooting with the X2D and my MacBook Pro at this point in time. And then most importantly, support for new hardware. This release adds support for the new X2D 100C camera and the three new lenses, the XCD 38V, XCD 55V and the 90V lenses. Here we go. All right, now this is connected. Let's switch the camera on again and I'm sure it will be recognized by the software. Yeah, here we go. Here is the X2D 100C and we have here folders for Compact Flash Express and SSD. Let's now try to do this update again. Let's see if something else happens. I'm just experimenting here and uh, let you actually watching this live. So let's get the firmware file. Let's go to update. Again, nothing happens. All right, I nevertheless wanna update the second camera body. So let's switch the camera on and let's do this in a different way. Let's wait for the message about the connection and let's say mass storage. Now we are in mass storage mode and we should be able to drag and drop that firmware file from my MacBook into the SSD of the camera. Since I've chosen USB mass storage on the camera in that menu, which popped up a moment ago, I have now on the left hand side here, my SSD folder on the camera, which is 1.02 terabyte big. So I just drag and drop this over from my MacBook to the SSD of the camera. And then I can actually do the firmware update without having a card on that second camera body of the X2D 100C. So we can disconnect this now, can switch it off. Let's take the second camera body. Let's do that little trick, checking battery level halfway out, pushing in, looking at the top display. We are at 98%, that's good enough. So let's switch this camera on. And uh, if everything went well with drag and drop, the firmware file should be on the SSD now. Now let's go in there. Let's check this out. General, let's go all the way down. Service, check for update. Okay, it has the firmware update file. Let's go on update, update, upgrade failed. Invalid file, download the upgrade file again and retry. Okay, second attempt, I hope I did everything right. Of course, on the MacBook, you have to eject the SSD when you connected the camera and wanna disconnect it. I did all that also in my first attempt. Let's try to go into that again on general and uh, on service, check for update, finds the update file, update, says update. So it's not working. So the conclusion of my little exercise, which I provided live here on my channel is very, very simple. The only way at this point in time to upgrade the X2D 100C to the new firmware is to follow 100% the instructions by Hasselblad in the FAQ, which I showed before in the video. So you get the firmware file on the Compact Flash Express Type B card and uh, there is no card in here. So here I would have a problem and uh, then you place the card in the camera body and you follow exactly the procedure I showed before in the video. You cannot update the camera body via focus. You saw it's not working. You can also not, if you don't have a compact flash type B card, drag and drop the firmware file on the internal SSD and then try to upgrade. It's not working, you see it here. Doesn't recognize the file. Something in the transfer process between the camera and the MacBook is getting lost in translation. And you can also not use Focus Mobile 2 because that software on iPad and iPhone is not even yet compatible with the Hasselblad X2D 100C. At least I hope my little experiment here took away your concerns. If it didn't work with you, then probably you try to follow a different path than what Hasselblad is saying on their website. Do it exactly in the way I showed to you. You will get your camera upgraded and everything is fine. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And of course, peace out.